16 <laughs> years. The colors are a little bit different, but the original, they called them back then yellow top brooms, remember? Right, because the top was yellow. <laughs> yep, these are the indoor-outdoor telescoping rubber brooms that Don Asset has been bringing to QVC for decades. Every home should have not just one, but two really good rubber brooms. And $26 is the price tag. This all started with commercial cleaning. People whose cleaning needs were much, much more aggressive than most of us in our own homes. And most homes in America don't have a squeegee. The backside of these brooms are squeegees. We've got them at $13 a piece. That's $26 for two. They don't wear out. Uh, yeah, for $13 a piece, this r really is probably the last broom you'll ever buy. The, uh, think about it, your car tires have a half an inch of tread. Right. They last 50,000 miles. Okay. You're looking at two inches of rubber here. That's 200,000 miles. All right. That's a lot of sweeping. Okay. That's a lot of sweeping, yes. <laughs> and again, every one of our brooms does have the squeegee on the back. Now, we put these on heavy-duty steel telescopic handles, and they're, they're longer than most handles. They're, they're 60 inch handles, so you don't bend over. Okay. If, you, okay. if you're a real tall guy and you want one, a broom, you don't have to hunch over. Here, hold, hold one, Dan. Sure. Now, let's start, I'll start sweeping here because this is, the proof is in a pudding, right? Now, what I have down here on this hardwood floor is a bunch of golden retriever hair. I've got sugar and some rice mixed in there. That's really fine stuff. When you sweep with a rubber broom, there's 500 rubber fingers. When you sweep, what happens basically here, I'll flip it over and give you a look at this. You see all these rubber fingers, they come together to form a wall. The dirt can't get through it. Plus, on the back of the broom, you don't see this on any other broom. These extra wide flaps, they kind of act like a dry squeegee. When you sweep, that's great for flour, salt, sugar. That's why bakeries love our broom. Okay, but here, this is what you want to see, right? Pet hair on a carpet mixed in with some food crumbs. I might have some pine needles in there still left over from the Christmas tree. Now, we're not trying to replace anybody's vacuum cleaner. But what we're showing you is, if you have a hallway rug or an entryway carpet, Maybe the dog lies down in one area. Use this, you notice what I'm doing. I'm brushing. Instead of sweeping, I'm using a short stroke. Because if you've ever done this when your vacuum wouldn't get the hair off the carpet, that's rubber on your shoe. Well, there's rubber on the broom. That's why it works. Okay, <laughs> pretty <Nice>. simple, <laughs> right? It, it's amazing. It, once you put this to the test, you're gonna realize, how did I ever live without one of these brooms? You know, a lot of the brooms that we see really haven't changed over the decades and over the well, years. Well, yeah, I mean, I've got one back broom. here. This is probably the, you know, everybody's had one or 20 of these in their lifetime. Right. They curl up, they lose their shape. If you get grease or oil on it, it's ruined. Right. And you don't want a broom. The, the, the tips of the bristles are what actually works. When a broom curls up like this, you're not using the tips anymore. You're, you're using kind the side. Yeah, look at the difference work. in the length of the handle. Yeah, see, th that's what I mean by an extra long handle. This Ours is about a foot longer than this. So the whole idea of a broom is, is to move dirt from point A to point B. But it's to put it into a position where you can pick it up and then get rid of it. And you want to get rid of all of it. What do yeah. you break this time? Well, I have a broken wine glass. Well, here we're showing the bed of a truck. See how the rubber fingers gets in the ribs? But here, I got a broken wine glass here. And yeah, sure, you can pick up the big pieces, put them in the garbage pail. But you don't want to touch these little slivers that I have here. Now, when I sweep this, here, I'm going to go over this area once, Dan. Now, I'm going to go back over this area. I'm going to sweep here. Okay, watch. When, when I do this, what happens here is the rubber fingers is getting between the grout lines. So when I touch this, there's nothing left in, even in the grout lines here. I've gotten every little sliver of glass. Okay. You, you, and if, no matter how dirty this gets, you can rinse this under your tap water and just wash it right off. Uh, okay. Now you give us a set of two. Yeah. And you get one that's green and one that's blue. Exactly. That's Why the only two difference. different colors. Well, it, that way, if you're going to use one in the garage, like here, over here, I've got some slate. Okay. I if you, if you're going to use a degreaser or a harsh chemical, it won't hurt the broom, but you don't want to use that back inside on your hardwood floor, even though they are washable. So here, if you have oil on your concrete, use a degreaser and scrub it. And then let me show you, flip it over for the built-in squeegee. Squeegee on the other side. Squeegee on the other side. So, and you can even do that on windows as well, Dan. A couple inches of snow off your patio. I know we're out of the snow season, right. but you can push the snow right off your porch, off your car. But, but John and I were talking about, yeah, John and I both drive <laughs> trucks. Yeah. Uh, I had a Don Aslett rubber tipped broom in the pickup truck all winter long. <laughs> right. Because it was the best thing to get snow off of the windshield. Yeah, and again, here's the pickup truck. You know, you get a, you get a bunch of mulch to do your, your gardening with. You know, just sweep it right out. Here's the uneven pavers with all the deep grooves. Right. Those rubber, the rubber head is angled 45 degrees so that it gets into those little cracks and crevices where a regular broom would kind of just scoot right over all of that. Okay. Now this is 
motor oil on a garage floor. She squirted a little degreaser on it, scrubbed it up. You can squeeze it into a dustpan. You can squeeze it into a, 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 a towel and get or rid of it that way. Sure. And anybody that has a swimming pool or a hot tub, you know that little film of chemicals you get right, right at, at the, the top of the water? Line. Use this to erase that chemical line. It won't scratch. And here it is on, on a large window. The squeegee works wonderful, okay? So pretty simple, pretty easy. Use it on concrete. You're not going to wear it out. Even right. if, you know, drag it behind your car from here to California, okay? John, how long ago was it that Don Asset first brought these brews? This, I've been coming to QVC for 17 years, and okay. this is the first product I ever had on the air 17 years ago. I still have the exact same <laughs> Yeah, you can't wear them out, yep. right? Okay? So, now outside, over here, I've got some leaves, i got some pine needles, and I've got some sawdust. So when you sweep outside, you can either use it like I'm using it here as a pull broom, or if you really want to, right. use it outside as a push broom. It works either way because of the angle. Now, hair salons, come over here a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but all these tiny hairs. Hair salons all over the world have been using our brooms for the past 40 years. When you sweep with this, the rubber fingers, pretty simple and easy. And again, here, it, the, the extra wide flaps on the back, they, they help it work even better. And again, there's 500 rubber tips on there, built-in squeegee on the back. If you want to, it just unscrews from the handle. And you can rinse it in the sink. Restaurants, what they do is they put them right in their dishwasher. Right. Okay, because nothing will hurt the rubber head. Well, we've got less than a minute. You want to do some serious cleaning? Yeah. Let okay. me adjust this. <laughs> and I like that it's a telescoping pole, so you can adjust it to wherever you want. But when you're doing carpeting, you don't take long strokes. You take itty-bitty uh, right. short it's strokes, right? Right, it's basically like you're raking leaves off your lawn. The short rubber tips grabs the hair and lifts it out from the fibers. That's really impressive. And, and again, it could be indoor, outdoor, commercial, berber. And this isn't even t tied down, but you know when you're done vacuuming, you can go back and comb the, the fringe on your carpet oh, I didn't and straighten it all that out, too. right? And look at all the little hairs that came off of that fringe that was stuck in there. This is just such a great idea. That uh, really gets everything <laughs> Doesn't out. it? Now, this is more of an oriental type rug up here. If you have a royal palace rug, hair tends to stick to wool more than it does to the polyester fibers. Okay. But again, the rubber breaks that static charge that the hair has. So indoors, outdoors, wet or dry. Nicely done. Thank you, Dan. John, thank you. <laughs> okay. Over 500 of you.